हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 5.1 दैट मींस प्लेइंग विद नंबर्स फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अगरवाल सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 राइट द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स इन जनरलाइज्ड फॉर्म सो एस हियर 89 इट्स वेरी इजी So that means here eight into ten plus nine. That is your generalized form. Okay. Next one here number two. Number two you have two zero seven. So as here two is the hundred place. That means here if you here you have to multiply two into hundred. Then here zero into ten. Then here plus seven. Now the third one. Third one you have three six nine. So hundred place multiply with hundred. Then here tenth place multiply with ten and last one here seven. Okay, now next one number two. Write the quotient when the sum of two digit number is thirty four, and number obtained by reversing the digit is divided by eleven. Okay, so as here given number equal to thirty four. Now the number obtained by reversing the digit that will be here 43, okay? 34 and 43. So here the sum equal to you know that 34 plus 43 and that one equal to here 77, okay? So here the first one, the digit is divided by 11. Yes, as here sum is 77, so 77 divided by 11. And here your answer that is seven. Okay. Now next one you have to find out the quotient when the digit is divided by sum of the digit. So as here sum is three and four, that means three plus seven is the sum of the digit, and that one equal to here seven. So if you divide seventy seven by seven, that one equal to here eleven as your answer. Now next one sum number three. Write the quotient. When the difference of a two-digit number seventy-three and the number obtained by reversing the digit is divided by nine, and second one difference of the digit, as same as the previous one. So here the first number is seventy-seven. Then the reverse number, you know that that is thirty-seven. So you have to add. Sorry, you have to find out the difference. The difference between these two number. So that one equal to here thirty-six. So now here, if you divide 36 by 9, so here your answer 36 by 9 that one equal to 4, and if you divide 36 by the difference of the digit, so as here 7 and 3 are the two digit, so difference of this digit that equal to 4, so 36 divided by 4 that one equal to 9 your answer. Now next one sum number four. Without actual calculation, write the quotient when the sum of a three-digit number, that is A B C. So here write down A B C, and the number obtained by changing the order of the digit slightly. Here B C A, and then next one here C A B. Okay, the number obtained by changing the order of the digit slightly. Here B C A and C A B, then divided by one one one. So suppose here A B C. So you can write down A B C as here 100 A plus 10 B plus C. Now the new number by changing the order of the digit cyclically. So here B C A that equal to you can write down 100 B plus 10 C plus A. Okay. And next one here C A B. So here 100 C plus 10 A plus B. So here the sum. That means here A B C plus B C A and plus C A B. That one equal to here hundred will be common. You can write down here A plus B plus C. Then ten will be common. A plus B plus C and last one here again A plus B plus C. So as here A plus B plus C is common, you can write down hundred plus ten plus one. So that one equal to here one one one. Then into a plus b plus c, okay? And you can write down one 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 also three into thirty seven into a plus b plus c. Now here the first question. Here the first question: If the number, if the sum of the numbers divided by eleven, 
yes it's definitely divide by 11 and whenever you divide it then your quotient will be here a plus b plus c only okay so that is the sum of the number if you divide by 1 1 1 then your answer will be here a plus b plus c now the next one number 2 if you divide it by a plus b plus c then your answer will be 1 1 1 third one if you divide it by 37 so the, so here your answer will be 3 into a plus b plus c and the fourth one if you divide it by 3 your answer will be here 3 into a plus b plus c okay it's very easy now let's move on to sum number 5 so here in sum number 5 write the quotient when the difference of a three digit number 8 4 3 and the number obtained by reversing the digit is divided by 99 so as here 8 4 3 then the reverse number is 3 4 8 okay so here the difference between these two number that one equal to here 8 4 3 minus 3 4 8 and that one equal to here 4 95 4 95 means 99 into 5 so here the first one if you divide it by 99 your answer will be 5 now the next one if you divide it by 5 your answer will be 99 okay very easy now next number 6 the sum of two digit of a two digit number is 11 okay if the number obtained by reversing the digit is 9 less than the original number find the number so here suppose here this is unit place and this one is 10th place okay and here you can write down this one as uh, this is uh, x this one is y so here the number will be you can write down 10 y plus x because 10 multiply with 10th place then plus unit place now according to the problem here x plus y the sum of the two digits that one equal to 11 that is the first condition okay and here the next condition next condition is if you reverse the number so here the reverse number will be definitely 10x plus y okay given number here 10y plus x and the reverse number is 10x plus y so that means here the reverse number will be 9 less than the original number so minus 9 okay so that means here you can write down here 10x minus x it 9x then here minus 9y that one equal to here minus 9 divide by 9 x minus y that one equal to here minus 1 so as here x minus y minus 1 here x plus y 11 so x minus y minus 1 so minus minus cancel out 2x equal to here 10 x equal to here 5 so then y equal to here 6 so x equal to 5 y equal to 6 so your answer here it's 10 y plus 6 that means 6 into 10 plus 5 that one equal to 65 your final answer next number 7 so here in number 7 the if the difference of two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the digit is 36 okay find the difference between the digit of the two digit number so as here suppose the given number is ab then the reverse number will be ba okay given number ab and reverse number ba so according to the problem ab minus ba that one equal to 36 now here the generalized form you know that 10a plus b that is ab and that one equal to 10b plus a that one equal to 36 or you can also solve this one by the previous method okay so here you can write down 10a minus a plus b minus 10b that one equal to 36 so here it's 9a minus 9b that one equal to 36 so here a minus b that one equal to 4 okay so now you have to find out what you have to find out the difference between the digit of two digit number that is your answer a minus b equal to 4 now sum number 8 is as same as sum number 7 so i hope you can solve it now next one sum number 9 here in sum number 9 the middle digit of a three digit number is 0 and the sum of the other two digit is 11 so as here abc is the number so here definitely b equal to 0 and here the addition a plus c that one equal to here 11 
okay if the number obtained by reversing the digit exceed the original number by phone name five so here the reverse number that is cba so now according to the problem you can write down here cba minus abc that one equal to 495 clear so here 100 into c then 10b plus a minus 100 into a plus 10b plus c that one equal to 495 so as here b is 0 so you can write down here 100 c then here minus c plus a minus 100 a that will equal to 495 so 99c minus 99a that equal to 495 then c minus a equal to 5 dividing 99 in both sides so as here c minus a equal to 5 so you can just put down the value here c minus a equal to 5 then a a cancel out 2c equal to 16 and then c equal to 8 as c equal to 8 then a equal to here 3 so your number will be here 308 okay 308 is your number now sub number 10 if a three digit number unit digit 10 digit and 100 digit are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 okay that means here unit digit if unit digit is x then definitely the 10 digit will be 2x and here 100 digit is 3x so here your number will be 100 into 3x then here 10 into 2x and then here plus x so that one equal to here 321x okay i hope it's clear if the difference of the original number that means 312x 321x and the number obtained by reversing so reverse means here it will be x this one 2x and this one 3x so now the reverse number okay so now here the reverse number equal to 100 into x plus here 10 into 2x and then here plus 3x so equal to here 1 2 3x so according to the problem 3 1 2 x minus 1 2 3 x that one equal to here 594 so you can write down this one as 198 x that one equal to here 594 then x equal to that one equal to here 3 so if x equal to 3 the number equal to here 3 to 1 into 3 it's 9 6 3 as your answer now the last one some number 11 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in some number 11 in a three digit number unit digit is one more than the hundred digit and ten digit is one less than the hundred digit so suppose here the given number is abc okay so that means here you can write down c equal to a plus 1 and b equal to here a minus 1 because a is the hundred digit now according to the problem if the sum of the original three digit number and the numbers obtained by changing the order of the digit cyclically so that means here a b c plus the next one will be here b c a and the third one will be here c a b that one equal to here 2664 okay and you know that the addition of here three digit number is always equal to 111 into a plus b plus c so in the place of this one you can write down 111 into a plus b plus c okay you can also check the example of your book you will see any addition of three digit number that one equal to 111 into a plus b plus c okay so that means here a plus b plus c equal to 2664 by 111 so 2664 by 111 that one equal to here 24 okay so as here a plus b plus c equal to 24 so you can write down in the place of b that is a minus 1 and next one in the place of c it's a plus 1 so that one equal to 24 that means here 3 a 1 1 cancel out so it's 24 that imply a equal to 8 
So as here a equal to 8, then c equal to 8 plus 1, it's 9, and b equal to here 8 minus 1, that one equal to here 7. So here your answer, first one 8, second one 7, and then 9. So 8, 7, 9 is your final answer.